Hello, good morning, and welcome to Business on News Desk. World Bank Country Director Henry Karagi has confirmed the IMF is in discussions with Ghana over extension of the fund program. This also confirms earlier reports by Joy Business that the government is likely to extend the program, which should have ended in April 2018. It is, however, not clear for now whether the program will be extended to December next year or 2019. The move, Joy Business understands, has been influenced by the IMF's concerns that Ghana may not be able to implement critical reforms before the original completion date of April 2018. The World Bank country director tells Joy Business they're waiting for final, uh, their final agreement between the two parties. From our perspective, we always look for a sustainable uh, program. And my understanding is that that is indeed the objective for both the government and the IMF, to come to an agreement on a sustainable uh, fiscal framework that can uh, be, that can boost growth, that can help Ghana to come out of the current debt levels, and can also help Ghana to fight poverty as, as it stands. So we are very much in support of an agreement that will be sustainable in the medium term for Ghana, not just for the IMF or the World Bank. And this agreement is looking as at the fact that didn't stay because I remember when there were meetings there, there were there were agreements that things are looking like let's let's look at extending so that we won't end up having a crash program. And that's what the bank would also respect, right? We definitely would respect uh, an agreement between the IMF and the board and the and the government of Ghana. Mm. Uh, this is the role that the World Bank plays, which is to support uh, the agreements, the IMF program. Uh, in particular, and we will continue to do so uh, as and when uh, the program is revised and agreed. Do you think that it might come with any problems for the economy? There are some who also think that uh, there might be some sharp revisions again and it will come with their own shocks uh, uh, to the economy. Uh, Meanwhile, the World Bank has withdrawn any form of financial agreements to private firms venturing into power generation in Ghana. Mr. Karari confirmed this with Joy Business. That the power purchase agreements all have what we call take or pay. You either take the electricity or you pay for it. If you don't take it, you still have to pay for it. So this is the challenge that Ghana is facing. When you have an oversupply of electricity that is not being used, the country still has to pay for it. Mm -hmm. And that is something that we would try to discourage, and we hope that the government will be able to find ways and means to reduce that risk of paying for electricity that it is not using. The analogy here about the, the fish in the soup is that maybe in Ghana, if it's too much, we can export the rest. So what's the big deal, one would ask? I think the big deal is whether the price that you're exporting is sustainable in the region. Um, the export price in the region is 9 to 11 cents, from our understanding. And the tariff levels in Ghana are more than that, significantly more, from 13 to 16 cents. So if you're going to export, it means that Ghana will have to subsidize some of that export in order to uh, be able to meet the market levels of tariff. So at 9 cents, you would have to subsidize maybe four or five cents. And this is not, it is not uh, good economics for Ghana to be subsidizing electricity being used in other countries. But if the government can find a way to uh, discuss, renegotiate, reschedule, whatever it is uh, that they need to do with the independent power producers in order to reduce the tariff levels, that would be very welcome news. That's all in business for now. We'll bring you some more business updates at midday. My name is Imano Apuaji. We have you. There's more to come on the news desk. Don't go away.